All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, hey. welcome in. What's your name? Dorian. Dorian, how old are you? Nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, what is. Well, Damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, aggressive is crazy. Femininity is crazy. I feel like my hair is done, my nails is I'm done. I'm not saying you're not feminine. I said, but you came out a little aggressive. And Did it was I like, cuss? You was on a de defensive mode. No, I think you guys all look handsome. I just, I'm just very, like, this is my personality. I don't feel like I got to tone down for nobody, but I respect that you want somebody that maybe you can run over. I like that, but. but <laughs> What's up, guys? What's going on? Welcome back to The Vibe. It's your boy once again. And we're going to jump right on this Pop the Balloon sensation. All right. I know you guys seen it. If you hadn't seen it, you need to check it out. I mean, there's like probably 20 of them now. But they're all over the place. Uganda, Nigeria, other places in Africa, other places in the States. But they are hilarious. And the reason being is particularly most of the women, they come on thinking they are tens and they find out real quick that, nah, you're not. So we got one in here right now who came in thinking she was a 10, but can't handle how the boys tell her she's not. Let's check this thing out. Let's get it. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Dorian. Dorian, how old are you? I'm 27. Okay, and what do you do? Um, I work for a Fortune 50 um, company as an insurance agent. I also rap. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, very cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, uh, I know you see rap. What else do you do for fun? Um, for fun, rap. I like to travel a lot. I like to stamp my passport. I'm very adventurous, skydiving, jet skiing, whatever the world brings us. Nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, what is... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay. Y'all don't like to travel? I guess not. <laughs> now, what... <laughs> uh, I think they probably know she's full of crap, but... One thing I noticed with her with all these facial expressions, she keep doing and looking in the camera. I watch her. And she got a um, something on that dress. She got like a rip on the side of it and look like she sewed it up while she's there or something. But she keep putting her hand on it. It's on the right side. She, you'll see it. And, and I don't know, man. These guys, man, I want to know what's going on. I didn't see all of it like I wanted to because I wanted to like just get a raw reaction out of it. But a lot, I mean, I've seen some of it, but not all of it. I, I kind of missed this part. Now, what are some things you look for in a man? What do I look for in a man? I really like an outgoing guy. I'm a very outgoing person, respectful, um, emotionally intelligent. And I also like a man that makes as much money as me or more. Mm, okay. Exactly. Nice. Get the bag. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, what are some deal breakers? Deal breakers. <sighs> Here we go. Watch. Felonies. But the felonies as far as sexual, mm. violent. Small penis. Here we go. King Dingalings is what they're looking for. If you've been chasing them like that, then you probably know that they're going to take that King Dingaling and put it in as many women, women as possible. So I don't, women kill me when they say that though, but it's always our sisters. Can y'all see the rip down here? Look at that. <laughs> Look at the guys. <laughs> Deal breaker. <laughs> All right. But you know, guys should start when they say stuff like girls like that dry box, that funky box, that musty box. Uh, all that. They need to start talking about it. Because they love talking about a man's part. Let's just bring it up. Let's talk about it. Women have issues too. Now they can't like it's small or whatever, but they have issues where that thing ain't right and they know it. So Period. he did get I'm it. I'm just being honest. 
We did get a couple pop balloons. That's fine. Let's go ahead and they see why they ended up popping. Pop the cowboy head. <laughs> All right, your name man. and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Uh, my name is Dante. I'm 25. Look at her and hand. Why'd you Look pop at her Dante? hand. Trying don't, to hide it. Don't get on the internet, bro. Uh, spots on your stain in your little dress. I was in the bag drunk, so whatever. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, you feel me? I it's fine. That. It's a $300 dress. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh, it's the three hundred dollar dress. My bad. I got a little makeup on it. Just to show, like you paying attention to care stuff like that. You feel mm. me? You're trying to be presentable. Look at her like yeah. expressions. You feel me? That's Respect all. that. She's pretty. Pretty. Mm. Gracias. Mm-hmm. No. Gracias. Why are these hood boogers trying to act like they all fluent in another another language? Gracias. And like the dude said, you come out with spots all over your dress, like you got a tear and you sold it back. But what's the first thing that was come out of these ladies' mouth? How much they paid for something. I paid $300 for this dress. Who gives a crap? If, and if you did and you felt that was valuable, you should have been more observant about putting spots on it and probably ripping it since you've been there and had to sew it up. And then you're going to say you was drunk. Y'all back there drink, you drunk, and then you come out here. Like dude said, you shouldn't come on the internet like this. So you're starting out wrong, then guys can see it, you know. So, but let's keep gracias going. Let's go with that. All see right. someone that's your type? Um, No, I'm not going. Where are you from? From Michigan. He's from Michigan, and he has a cowboy hat on. Look at No, him. I can see if he was from Texas or something. I feel like Southern boys wear the cowboy hats. I'm not a big fan of the cowboy hat. Y'all are so mean. Cowboy. We had a cowboy hat. They got country boys in Michigan. I mean, we had a South <laughs> Anyways, South next. Look at her. Name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Ryan. I'm 26. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. And I think you just had an unwelcoming demeanor. And that was it. We know why. Yes! I mean, yeah. you know, everybody popped their balloon, so I might as well be honest. I mean, I, I don't want to get into it, but I can understand why you would think I have an unwelcoming demeanor. But you're very handsome, Ryan. I love your dimples, but I'm actually very much a sweetheart. I think she's butthurt that everybody popped on her. Like I said, when you think you're walking in a 10, and then everybody else let you know that you're not. But I think she's butthurt and, and embarrassed. I think that's what it is. Next. Look at her. Okay. <laughs> Name and age and why you ended up popping? Chris, 27. Mm -hmm. Just because I don't do those skydiving, you know, I'm, I'm scared of heights. Mm. And so I had, I had problems with my past. With my last girl, she was tweaking at me. Because so I didn't want to do the little, with the, uh, the Superman thing in Vegas. We didn't broke up over that. Oh. Yeah, it was bad. Okay. Okay. And you said your name is? Chris. Chris, so you popped my balloon because you don't like skydiving? You said you like doing adventurous stuff, skydiving. What'd you say? Jumping out of airplanes, do uh, roller coasters. I don't do that. I mean, but she asked me what I like to do. She didn't ask you what you like to do. But I mean, I understand if you don't like skydiving. We could have went on a nice dinner date. You're very handsome. I love sure. the Balabas's pants. I got a couple pair myself. Mm. I like the outfit. You know, I don't think you, I think you're going to regret popping your balloon. But I understand if you don't want to go <laughs> skydiving. Everybody need a woman to get them out their comfort zone. So now, apart from her saying, you know, the skydiving, whatever it is, is she someone that is your type? Yeah, for sure. Okay. You know, I mean, I, I like the demeanor. I ain't gonna lie. Thank you. That ain't a problem with me at all. Mm -hmm. I like the demeanor. I wouldn't make you skydive. If you said no, I would take no for an answer. Okay. Yeah. Now, I watch this. But you can follow this. my Instagram. I think I can get you to skydive. You think so? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling a little vibe here. You want that balloon back? He don't got to take his balloon back. We not begging. Let's go to the next. Oh, no, we're not begging. <laughs> oh, see there? See? See, she's butt hurt. But the dude explained why he popped. He didn't say nothing about her looks or anything. But she's weird. I'm going I'm to not edit. I'm going I'm to throw her, um, her IG up, and you're going to see something. I'm, that She has nothing in there saying she's adventurous. I looked at it. Nothing that says adventurous or whatsoever. None of this crazy stuff and traveling, doing all that. None of that is on her IG. So, I don't know. Don't sound too good. But he looks like he's feeling you, girl. He it's looks like he's If you don't want to skydive, I understand, but you got to get out your comfort zone. You got to explore different things. You got to enjoy your life. You young, so. Hey, you ain't lying. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Everybody don't skydive. We gonna move on then. <laughs> All right, your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is John. I'm 31. Mm -hmm. 
And I pop my Malumi because you came out a little aggressive. You feel me? I like femininity. I'm not saying you not feminine, but your demeanor, maybe it's the liquor, you feel me? But No. And I yeah. think we're from the same city, and I'm mm -hmm. not trying to date no she women from that. Your so. head oh, you from Indianapolis? From Indiana. Oh, my so. gosh, I love that. So, first of all, what side of Indianapolis are you I'm from? From the east side. What part? Uh, Arlington. You from Arlington, like 46? Yeah, 46 in Arlington. All right, shout out to the east side of Indianapolis. Shout out. If you from Indianapolis, you know why I'm like I am the way I am. I'm from the east side. I mean, aggressive is crazy. Femininity is crazy. I feel like my hair is done, my nails is I'm done. I'm not saying you're not feminine. I said, but you came out a little aggressive. Did I like, curse? I think, look at she said, did I curse? I think she don't understand that it's more than that with the feminine thing. And I think a lot of women get that mixed up about where well, I got my hair, got my nails, I got my stuff. That's girly. That's girly stuff. The feminine thing is coming out being a lady and doing being ladylike. And so most of the time you have to be raised that way. And like your older sisters teach you, your mother teach you. You just don't, like say she's a rap chick, so she try to be this aggressive, chopping off heads, you know, I'm going to get you back tight chick. I ain't going to let you say nothing to me tight chick. And that's how she comes off. So that's why like these dudes like, nah, I'm not feeling it. You just coming. You coming at us when you don't need to. Now, if she had came out and was being a little more soft and just being, you know, just low key, a lot of these guys probably been feeling it. I mean, because she's not a bad looking woman. She ain't bad out of shape or nothing like that. It just what's coming out of her mouth is not resonating with these dudes. And she can't seem to get that when these dudes tell them. Instead of taking it in, she's going to throw it back out. You see what I'm saying? Like, she can't take the criticism. But, hey, it is what it is. You was on a def defensive mode. No, I think you guys all look handsome. See? I just, I'm just very, like, this is my personality. I don't feel like I got to tone down for nobody. But I respect that you want somebody that maybe you can run over. Not like wow. that. But you're very handsome. Wow. I love the slugs. I'm from Indianapolis. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet I'm you, I'm from too. the east side of Indianapolis. Actually, I'm from... Well, maybe like, we need to link on some friendship shit, though. Friendship? Yeah. I don't think I want to be your friend. You embarrass me on public YouTube with <laughs> 1.5 million people. But I think that if you go home and you mention my name, I think that you'll be presently surprised. Like, I can't Supplies. talk to you anyways. You'll be <laughs> pleasantly surprised. I think you'll actually hit me up after that. Drunk. Now, you just said something about him embarrassing you in front of 1.5 million people, and then you get up here and... Like I say, misspoke. You out here, you had too much to drink. You know you were coming on here. But, like dude saying, he's trying to be cool with you, but you kind of being choppy. You just, I don't even understand why you ladies do that. I really and truly don't understand why y'all feel that you got to be so combative to, to win. You know, that shaming tactic, part of the sign, you know, shame, insult, guilt, and need to be right, the shaming part of it. You embarrassed and mad that these dudes popped on you because you thought you was the shit. Let's just be real. And they see right through your personality. And now you don't know how to fix it because you're intoxicated. And so that defensive mode keep kicking in because that alcohol is on your butt, like pow, pow, and you can't get it. You see what I'm saying? So that's what's going on with her. Like, she trying to be nice, but that alcohol won't let her. So you sat back there and drank too much before you went out. And I'm, I mean, now you're making a fool out yourself for sure. I well, you're it. very handsome. I love a chocolate man. Love your dreads. You look good. I like the Jordans. 10 out of 10. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go to our next guy. Your name and age and why Dude, you ended up popping. Uh, I'm Trey, 25, and I believe our, our temperaments would clash. Uh, the personalities that we have... Uh, I'm not a big fan of, of drunkenness in public or okay. just the idea of it's just how it comes across. It's not I'm not mm -hmm. tagging you with that. I'm just saying that's how it came across. Look how she's holding her hand trying to cover that spot, hoping nobody see it. I'm pretty sure somebody saw it, just didn't want to say nothing to her about it, embarrass her. But your three hundred dollar dress, like somebody sold it up in the back somewhere. You know what I mean? Can you buy Fashion Nova? Fashion Nova, is it? Dress is $300 on there. That shit there looked like one of them fashion overdresses. But anyway, check them out. The first one. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's really it. I believe 
I believe you're actually beautiful. Thank you. What kind of favorite Glorilla? That to me, that's why. Glorilla I was, is crazy. I think Glorilla is beautiful. I'm dark skinned. I think more like Kelly Rowland, but I appreciate the compliment. Ooh, that's, that's fine ooh. as well. Gracias. But that's the gracias again. But Kelly Rowland, come on, come on. Like what was it? Come on, man. Come on, man. Girl, you look nothing like Kelly Rowland. Don't even get on saying nothing about no Kelly Rowland. I'm going to move on because Kelly Rowland look. But that's really it. I just believe our temperaments will clash. That's okay. all. Okay. Okay. Is okay. someone that's your type? No, he's not my type. Okay, why you not? Know, I, I just don't think I would like to be out on a nice dinner date or skydiving with somebody that ha wears pearls. I'm not drunk at all. A little tipsy, you know, they gave us some drinks in the back, but I feel like I'm really put together. I feel like I'm carrying, carrying myself classy. But if that's how you feel, then that's how you feel. I don't like the pants, I'm gonna be honest. I think that since you're light skin, you should have wore something a little bit more, less olive. But okay, but you're handsome Once though. Less, you. Love your beard. I love the earrings. She I think the gold beard, looks. Hold on, she called it a beard, y'all. Yeah, I think, I think for a minute, think, it's a beard think, now. You feel me? I think that honestly, opposites attract. So I feel like if you feel like our temperaments would clash, yeah. I feel like you should get a little bit more. What? Confidence. I don't know. I That's think what you, you be doing with some I, I think that you should maybe date somebody that is more out there and get you out your comfort zone. I but see, what she's trying to say, he's soft. Because she's hard, so you need somebody. Maybe you need to get get somebody to you know get out that. You know, calling him soft because he just said you was drunk, lady. That's it. And then far as skydiving with somebody with pearls on, who would even think about wearing some pearls going skydiving? Now, I think guys do a little too much by wearing pearls. Like you're doing way too much. That's not a masculine move whatsoever. But these new dudes got to, they got to teeter on that. Well, I want to be masculine, but at the same time, I want to show some of my feminine side. But see, when you show it, look what happened. And guys, y'all need to pay attention to that. When y'all come out and show that little feminine part, all these women tell y'all to, to go ahead and let it out. Look how, look how they look at it when they, they talk about you. Now, he thought he was killing it with the pearls. She came out and shamed him with the pearls. Like, I'm not with the pearl, so take that shit off. Appreciate the info. Yeah, Thank you. You're welcome, handsome. Okay. Let's yeah. Let's over here. Mm -hmm. Your name and age, and why did you end up popping your balloon? I'm so sad. How you doing? My name is Nati. I'm 25 she can't years believe old. It. Mm -hmm. uh, I popped my balloon. I just didn't like the going back and forth with people. It's just not for me. That's all. Okay. But you're very pretty. You know. Gracias for the compliment. God. Thank you. I'm not going to say it's going back and forth. Going back and forth sounds more like an argument. I feel like you guys stated your opinions about me and how you felt. And I feel like I gave you my opinions about y'all. I don't think it's a go going back and forth. I think that we're all adults and we should expect, um, respect each other's opinions. So, I mean, if that's how you feel, that, that's a red flag to me. Because imagine if we didn't agree on something and I said what I said. Why are you saying red flags? He already done popped on you. You been a red flag. The second guy, that when he popped around that time frame. But one, two, three, four. So he the fifth guy that said something about your demeanor and your character. And you ain't taking it in to say, wow, I need maybe I need to change something about myself if I'm coming out because I'm not trying to. But see, it's that liquor. Like I said, she don't understand it. That's why you shouldn't be drinking like this when y'all doing certain things and meeting up and talking to people. Because the real you don't get a chance to come out. We get old lick it up, DC or whatever her name, CD or some mess. But she thinks she's the rapper now. She lick it up. And you said what you said. Now you feel like I'm going back and forth like a kid. No, it's just we just disagree. But I respect that. I think you're very handsome. Your hair is curly. You look good. Thank you. I like the shirt. Where you get it from? What kind of question? My mama. Your mom. Yeah, right. Bless your mom. She's a great mom. It's nice. It's well what tailored. Kind of, man, what kind of <laughs> where you get it from? She's like so materialistic for some reason. A lot of and a lot of y'all like that. Y'all so materialistic, man. It's just wear the clothes. You ain't got to explain. Everybody know what it is. But y'all gotta explain it and how much you pay for it and all this. And that's a little sign of ignorance. And, uh, and another thing. When y'all talk about stuff like that in the restaurants that y'all go to and how much y'all spend, that's a sign of ignorance to a point where you're not used to it. 
Because people that's not used to it got to talk about it in that manner. You don't ever say, well, I went out and had a great meal at this restaurant. Or we went out and spent so many bands at this restaurant, a five-star restaurant and all this other stuff. Yeah, we went out to a great restaurant and had some real food. Or they got some good food. I've never, ever, ever been around people that talk about restaurants and how much you pay for stuff so much. And this last probably two or three years, you know, and I and our people, we need to cut it out, man, because we sound ignorant with it. I mean, we do posting receipts and all this shit, but we, come on, we just look stupid. No, it's real Taylor. I like the go. I like that. You you look good. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Let's go to our next guy. Mm-hmm. Your name and age, and why ended up popping your balloon? I really want to know. Uh, yeah, my name is Key. I'm 28. Mm-hmm. Uh, really. Uh, to be honest, man, the physical attraction just isn't there. But I was going to give you a chance. I was going to hear you out. You know, it's like, I mean, you don't look bad at all. Look at that. Let me show y'all again, man. Uh, really, uh, to be honest, Watch. man, the physical attraction just isn't there. But I was going to give you a See it? Like, she can't believe, like, it's okay. Everybody don't have to think you're fine. But she can't believe, like, damn, these dudes don't think I look good. You might look really good in Indianapolis or somewhere out there where you're from. But a lot of guys are used to women are looking better. You know, you might come in, you take all that stuff off, you're probably around about a, a very average-looking woman. Even with that on, you like, still probably about a good six. But that's not bad. But, of course, average and a little over average is not what y'all want to hear these days. Y'all want to be tens and Nothing else. So, but either way, it is what it is, man. The chance I was gonna hear you out. You know, it's not. I mean, you don't look bad at all. Mm-hmm. But I mean, you you know, you look pretty good. But then you said you rap. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not really cool with that. And all the traveling and stuff. So like the rapping, the traveling, the mm-hmm. being out. It's just I don't like a busy woman like that. That's too doing a little bit too much. Yeah. Okay, and, that's understandable. Like, we pretty much it went back and forth almost every dude up here. No. So I feel like we kind of a little argumentative a little bit. So like I can see us being out on a date. And you going back Six and forth with the waiter because something ain't cooked right. Or like wow. Was, so you think I d- uh, disrespect uh, civilians and people that serve other people and do their job? These do civilians. They're civilians, but they all gave their opinion on me and what they didn't like about me, and I gave my opinion about back. But I'm just saying it was real. Like, it was it was pretty strong. Like, it wasn't it's, really – I'm not saying you don't have class, but I'm just saying it wasn't, like, classy, like how you okay. conduct yourself. Okay, I'll wait till he's done. And that's the thing he's trying to tell you. Women that have a little class about themselves, they're not going to do that. They're not going to go back and forth. They'll just like, oh, okay, and they'll stop talking and remove themselves from that person. Even if it's in a rep, they'll get up and leave. They're not going to sit there and be combative and argue because, for one, you don't know what this man going to do. Two, you're going to embarrass yourself. I mean, it's just the way it is. But a woman, woman, a woman that know herself, She's not going to sit there and do all that because, for one, this show, that's what it is. You give your opinion. You like it. You don't. You need to be thin-skinned. I mean, thick-skinned if you come on here, and she's not. She just thought she was better looking than she thought, and these guys didn't see it that way. And then you got dirty clothes on and ripped clothes, and you're drunk. You know, just you to my red flags. Shit. Man, she walked in looking like the Olympics, all them flags. It's but, my turn. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, you go ahead. And okay, physical she attraction. Wait. She wait. So what's the physical attraction? I would love for you to get in detail. I mean, you see what I'm saying? It's all about the look. She just can't, um, cannot believe these guys don't think she's fine. I mean, it's just not like if, if I seen you out in the grocery store in the mall or something, I just like, I mean, you like I said, you don't look bad. I just wouldn't really approach you like that. Right. You're not what's you're your average. My type, I mean, yeah, she won't let it I would go. love what you're physically attracted to since I, you're not physically attracted yeah. to me, which I'm not really. I mean, I like, I like natural hair. Uh huh. Um, like, so I'm gonna keep it real. It's not so much like. Be honest. You can be pretty, but like the way you carry yourself can make you. I ain't gonna say ugly, but it can. Mm-hmm. All that go out the window. So you felt like I carried myself, ag- okay, aggressively? A little bit. I, like I said, I don't know if it was the, the drinks, but it was... No, this is it, how okay, I am all it, the time. It wasn't pleasant, i say that. It wasn't pleasant? Did yeah. y'all all feel that way? Yeah, I don't see no balloons. I feel like y'all... Now, you, you, now, this is the thing right here. 
each and one of every every one of these guys are telling, except for that one, he liked it. But it's seven guys, six out of the seven telling you you came out a little aggressive, your behavior was a little much, and you still don't want to take it in. That would have been your time right there, like, oh, okay, I need to reflect on some things, and maybe I need to not drink when I come and talk to men and stuff that like that. You know what I mean? So if you're trying to find a good dude, I'm just telling you, drinking and, and approaching him is not the way to go. Now, if you want somebody to just knock your, knock your you know, box all from here to there, yeah, yeah, you can get, you can get anybody to do that. But the ones that y'all really want to be seen with and travel around with and look good and possibly could be a, a future this or that, you got to come correct, man. You can't just come lick it up and hair hanging everywhere, a bunch of makeup on, eyelashes touching the top of your head. I mean, come on. I mean, it's a little much. Like, we just doing, y'all just doing a lot these days, man. I feel like y'all intimidated. I feel like I'm a very so pleasant you're person. Intimidated. I feel like I understand the physical attraction. Me too. I pay attention to detail. I feel like you're dark skin. Your hair is pretty. You got a nice look to your, you know, face, whatever. Yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate Me it. personally, I wouldn't put on no Dolce Cabanas because I feel see? like they played out because I'm into swag or whatever the case may be. I saw you see that kind of shit there? What that got to do with anything? I'm into swag. But you come out there with dirty clothes on and a rip in the side. And it looked cheap. Let's just be real. That looked like something off Fashion Nova or something. That don't look like no high-end dress. It's why she paid $300. Well, you need to go get 250 of that back. I'm just being honest. Oh, good. I feel like my attitude is actually very great. I feel like any man that dates me is going to be overwhelmed with me just supporting his confidence and me building him up. I feel like that if you guys don't like a woman that likes to have a conversation or maybe disagree every once in a while, then y'all should reevaluate reevaluate yourself. Um, also, as far as you saying that I'm the type of person that you feel like if we were outside and a waitress or a waiter um, said that I got into it with them or whatever you said, I'm sorry, I was kind of listening. Um, I, was I think listening. that is very. Um, That's some disrespectful. I don't know word. I don't know how to describe it, but I mean, I go on five star dinner restaurants all the time. People make mistakes. I'm not going to fault anybody or be disrespectful because they make mistakes. You see what I'm saying? I go to five star restaurants all the time and all. You can go to a mom and pop's restaurant. But if you have an aggressive, nasty behavior or character about yourself, you're going to do that no matter what. I've had people that I had to tell in the restaurant they need to chill with that. And I told them, I said, look, I don't want no spit in my food. You need to relax. And they would just go after the, the waitress, because always be a young lady, go after them hard. Don't bring my food back cold. Don't do all this. I'm like, whoa, you need to relax, man. And I'll go and apologize to the waitress. And it's like, I don't know what's in there, but I will get on that person even my son, I taught them the same thing. Don't fool with people. Don't go to restaurants with people that are rude to the waiter or waitress. They don't want to tip. They want to walk out on them. They want to give them a hard time, leave pennies, all that kind of stuff. See, I've seen a lot of sisters do that kind of stuff, Professional, call themselves professional women, leave brown pennies on the table. Like, come on, six and seven pennies and walk out. Like, man, and then now y'all don't want to pay for the food. And y'all want to claim something wrong with the food, and y'all don't want your, you don't want to pay for it. It's so embarrassing now. I mean, it's just so embarrassing. But if somebody says something to me, I am going to speak my mind, and then I'm going to give my man a like chance to give me their opinion, and I'm going to go back. Head on back. Okay. All right. Well, what the hell? Well. <laughs> Look at that walk. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's a walk where you're not used to walking in heels. Your pigeon toe. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna let y'all see it again. I, I watch this. Watch this. Watch that this. is all the. Watch this walk. Watch this walk. The pigeon toe walk off. That's why I told the pit. Look at it. Is all. <laughs> Oh my God.
<laughs> you can't even walk sexy, man. You're not used to being like that. I'm just being honest. You're not used to being like that. You probably can put on some clothes, but you're not, you don't know how to walk in heels. I mean, you literally just, I mean, your knees knock or something. You got it. Your legs are terrible. So whatever's going on up under that dress, your doggone legs are terrible. So, because your walk, <laughs> that walk was terrible. <laughs> oh, my God, man. That was terrible. Okay, let's finish this out, the man. My bad. <laughs> but we do thank you for coming on. Thank let's you. Let's go ahead and give it up for her, guys. I'll take this mic. Oh. <laughs> yeah, walk thank off. You. Do, the, do the walk off. Okay, girl, you better walk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. All right, guys. All right. I hope y'all enjoyed that, man. I thought it was a lot of it was funny. But a lot of things, it points out that um, that a lot of things need to be corrected with our ladies, man. Y'all just throwing long hair on and pressing on this baby hairs. Y'all 30 years old, putting baby hair in your head, gluing it down, and all these accessories does not make you a lady. You are a woman, but an actual lady does not need all that all right all this extra stuff and the eyelashes out to here and all this all these accessories you know it's messing up a lot of things because little young black girls now don't think they're pretty unless they have the nails the the eyelashes and the hair hanging down i mean we got sisters sending their kids to kindergarten and first grade with lace fronts on hanging down their back not one minute have you thought, hmm, well, they will be at school playing like the rest of the kids. All this hair and makeup, and then you got a little makeup on them too, but the hair, they can't play and do stuff with a head full of hot wig on their head, running and playing like a kid. You got your babies looking like grown women. One lady actually put her wig on the child. Like, y'all just forgot how to fix your kid's hair now. So, so much going on wrong right now in our community that we got to get back on track, man. It just, it's just going way too left, and we're getting laughed at all over the place. So, man, I just try to help spread the word because I like to see us together, but if we can't be together, we just can't be together because nobody's going to be with foolishness, and, and that's what we're getting out here, a lot of that. Well, guys, I got to get up out of here. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe, like, and share. Uh, like I said, definitely hit that notification bell because I'm going to be putting a bunch of these out because I think it's funny. But um, it just points out another thing that we talk about. And so, hey, I am getting out of here. Y'all enjoy. Have a good time. Go to bed. Go to gym. Whatever makes y'all happy. I'm out. It's your boy. Peace. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs>